Those who care about everything actually care about nothing. Have you ever met somebody like that? Have you ever met somebody that they just seem to just have this desire to solve every problem and to do everything and to be everything to everyone and, and please everybody that's around them? It just doesn't work. Trying to be all things to all people, you end up being nothing to no one. It's a fact. It's, it's not easy. Nothing significant is. It's not easy when you're first getting started and, and as you're in the process of growing your business to, to turn away business. And I'm not saying turn it away, but I'm saying do not actively pursue being all things to all people. Get crazy narrow, like the most narrow you can possibly think and then go about three levels deeper. I'm just obsessed with capacity and and identifying things that are robbing my capacity. Start, start saying no more often. And so when opportunities come, they may be great opportunities. They may be opportunities that, you know, in the past you would have dreamed for, would have wished for and hoped for. But just because they were something that you would have wished for, dreamed for, hoped for in the past, doesn't mean that it serves your future. Then over time, when you're, doing what you're really gifted to do, what you're created to do, um, you get overwhelmed. And I had to create a filter. And, and every few years, maybe every two or three years, that filter no longer works. Sure. And I have to create another filter and another filter. And now, at this stage in my life, I say no to things that I would have killed to do a couple of years ago, that I would have died to do. And so the beautiful part about life, if you really find your intention, is you're not saying no to bad things. You're actually saying no to amazing things that you wish you had time to do, but you can't do it because they're not within your intention. I just think that the number of times you will look back on something you passed on or someone you passed on and regret it is gonna be so much fewer than looking back on someone that you brought on or a client that you brought on that you regret. And there will always be seasons of life where Absolutely. you'll go through a season where more of your intention and effort will be in one area and then, and then another, but you base those decisions through what filter? What, what filter is it that you're looking at? Okay, uh, I have these five things I can spend my time on. What's the best use of, of my gifts at this moment during this part of my season? But you just have to guard your capacity and know that you've only got 100%. And chances are, you know, those types of things make it to where you're operating at a 40, 50, 60 when you don't even realize it. It's because that client's stealing this time and that client will not stop texting me. This client has this issue. This employee cannot do anything for themselves and they're supposed to be an employee to help, not for me to work more. I think we can get locked in sometimes to these things that we always wanted and realize that that thing that we wanted now when it becomes available and when the opportunity arises is not actually what we need. And so when you look at your life as capacity, and if you just look at it as a pie and how many slices of that pie are you giving away to those things that don't serve you and realizing how much you have left after doing all the things that you don't need to do, it's a capacity issue. There's only 24 hours in a day. How much of it are you spending on battles? that weren't even meant for you to fight in the beginning. And you can get caught up and you can spend so much time and so much of that capacity is being robbed, even just mentally, like letting it bother you. That's stealing capacity from you. When you're walking into that boardroom or you're walking into that meeting, that idea that that may happen or that may exist is robbing you of capacity in that meeting because it's there and you know it. The only way that you can have everything is by getting laser focused on the things that are most important. And it all comes down to guarding your capacity.